Hello and welcome back to Wildfire Explained, the weekly show where we go over the key aspects of wildfire. Topography is the configuration of the Earth's surface, and the influence it has on wildfire is more easily predicted than that of fuel or weather because it changes over a longer time span. The three most important topographic characteristics are slope, aspect, and position because of the effects they have on fuel moisture and temperature. So when it comes to slope, the steeper the slope is, the faster the fire is going to spread, and especially when going uphill. Now the reason for this is because the fuels are getting into closer contact with the flames below because of the flame tilting up the hill. So it's that convection and radiation that preheats those fuels and makes them more likely to ignite in the future. The other concern when it comes to slopes is burning material rolling down the hill and starting new little fires below the major blaze. Aspect is another characteristic of topography, which is defined as the direction a slope faces. The key thing this has an impact on is how much sunlight that slope gets, which then has an impact on the types of fuels that you have, the conditions of the fuels, and how much of those fuels are present. So on the north facing slopes, that's where it's a little bit shadier. That's where you're going to have lower temperatures, heavier fuels, higher relative humidity, and higher fuel moisture. So wildfire isn't as much of a concern. On the flip side, on the south slopes, that's where you get more sun exposure. So that's where you get lighter fuels, you get higher temperatures, lower relative humidity, and lower fuel moisture. So this is where wildfire is most critical because it's where an ignition is most easily, most easily occurs, and then once that ignition does occur, that fire can spread rapidly. Finally, we have position, which is another characteristic of topography, and you can refer to this as the lower, middle, or upper parts of a slope. So you can regard this as elevation, which just like aspect, affects what kinds of fuels you have, how much those fuels are in place and what kind of characteristics those fuels are in. So just like the south facing slopes, fuels at lower elevations will typically be hotter, drier, and lighter. So ignitions are more likely and once fire does start, it can spread more rapidly than the cooler, heavier fuels in the slope above. So you can also refer to topography with regards to its specific features like canyons, ridges, saddles, or barriers. When it comes to a narrow canyon, you can think of a fire burning on one side of the canyon. Due to radiation or spotting, it can actually jump across the canyon. And then if a fire starts at the base of a narrow canyon or a box canyon, it can actually behave just like a fire in a wood burning stove or a fireplace. It can generate winds and upslope flow, which can rapidly spread the fire and is referred to as the chimney effect. This can lead to some extreme fire behavior and in some cases can be very dangerous. Then in a wide canyon, it's basically the opposite of a narrow canyon. Because it's wide, that spotting and that radiation isn't as likely to happen. The key thing in a wide canyon is there will likely be a big difference between the fire behavior on the north facing slopes and the south facing slopes. Then when it comes to ridges, this is a place where the fire will most likely slow down in its rate of spread as it encounters winds blowing directly into it from the upslope flow on the other ridgeline. However, with those winds converging, that can lead to some erratic fire behavior and especially where winds on one side of the slope are much stronger than on the other side. And then where you have a chute or a ladder, you can think of the wind flowing into this con constricted space so the winds are speeding up and that can make your fire burn faster, have a faster rate of spread, or even change directions in some cases. Then finally, we have natural and constructed barriers. These are things that can either slow or completely stop the rate of spread of a fire. This can be natural things like rivers or rocks, or it can be constructed things like roads or perhaps a containment line made by firefighters. So, that's the topographic influence on wildfire. Stay tuned for next time where we'll be discussing fuels. Thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by the San Jose State Fire Weather Research Laboratory.